Transformed logarithmic function C6. State the key features of the function y equals to 2 log to the base 2 of x plus 4 minus 6. So when we talk about key features, then what are the features we are looking for? So one should understand that also, right? Because they haven't really listed out the key features. Now, in general, the key features are, let me write them here, domain, range, and we have x-intercept, y-intercept. There may not be a y-intercept, right, if, if possible, correct? And a vertical asymptote. So these are the key features which we are expected to write in such a question, correct? So now let's go through it one by one and then list them out. So we'll also learn in this example how to find x and y intercepts, correct? Now, to find domain, it is important to find where the vertical asymptote is, right? So we'll start with vertical asymptote. So let's do like that. So let's start with vertical asymptote. So normally the vertical asymptote is at x equals to 0. Now this term here decides how the vertical asymptote can change because this term says that your graph gets shifted left or right. So once you shift left or right, vertical asymptote will shift, right? So now, according to this, there is a translation, horizontal translation, of 4 units to left. Therefore, the vertical asymptote is at x equals to minus 4. So x equals to minus 4 is the vertical asymptote. If you plug in minus 4 here, you get log 2 of 0. That is not defined. Log should always be positive, correct? So that gives you the domain, correct? So the vertical asymptote is at x equals to minus 4. See? Now we get to domain. Domain is, in this case, on the right side of the vertical asymptote. And we say domain is x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than minus 4, correct? And then range. Range for any logarithmic function is always y belongs to real numbers, right? For range, log functions do not have any restriction, right? So range is always y belongs to real numbers. Got it? So we've got a couple of these and let's try to find out what is x-intercept and what is y-intercept. A logarithmic graph will always have an x-intercept but may not have y-intercept, correct? Depending on its domain. Now here the domain is x is greater than minus 4. So this means it will have a y-intercept, correct? So in this particular case we will find both x-intercept and y-intercept, okay? So let's find x-intercept first. Now, for x-intercept, what we know? We know that for x-intercept, y is equal to 0, right? So wherever the graph crosses the x-axis, at that point, y is 0. So what we need to do is, we have to write 0 for y and then calculate x, Correct? So that calculation will give us x-intercept. So let's do it. So we'll write 0 here for y. So get 0 equals to 2 of log to the base 2. And x, we have to find x plus 4 minus 6. Now to calculate this, we'll bring 6 to this side. 6 equals to 2 log 2 of x plus 4. Correct? 
Now we will divide by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we get 3 log 2 of x plus 4. Correct? Now that means we can write it in exponential form after this. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to x plus 4. Correct? 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So now we can calculate the x intercept. Let me continue on this side and show you rest of the calculation. So we already have 2 to the power of 3 equals to x plus 4. I'm just rewriting this particular equation. Okay. Now we'll calculate from here, which is 8, right? So 8 and I'll bring 4 this side. 8 minus 4 equals to x and therefore x is equals to 4, correct? And therefore the x intercept for us is sorry, is 4, 0, right? So the y value of 4, 0. Okay, let me write here again. So we have x intercept of 4, 0, correct? Right? So we got the x intercept. Now let's find out what is y intercept. So y intercept. For y intercept, we have to put x equals to 0, right? So at y intercept, x is equals to 0, correct? So let's plug in 0 here and find y intercept. So y equals to 2 of log 2 of 0 plus 4 minus 6, right? There's no need to write 0, but I'm writing to show you how am I getting the result, right? 2 times log 2 of 4 minus 6. Log 2 of 4 is 2, 2 square, right? And that gets multiplied by 2, so we get 4, right? So we get here 4 minus 6, correct? Which gives me minus 2. So y intercept is 0 minus 2 for this function. Correct? So that is how we can get all our values. Correct? I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you.